What is good to the family? It's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I want to talk about some very important things that Elon Musk has been putting on his Twitter page. I break down some important developments from Musk and what he's been saying about Tesla stock and very important updates about Tesla. But before I break into devil's information, before I talk about what Elon Musk has been up to, let me just mention a couple of things. Firstly, I am not a financial planner, so take nothing I say as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out the Moomoo link, which is down below and in the description. If you sign up for Moomoo with the link down below and deposit $100 into the account, you are guaranteed up to five free stocks. If you deposit $1,000, you're guaranteed up to 15 free stocks, and the offer ends very soon. Anyways, looking at Tesla, I want to talk about something very important about Elon Musk, because what Musk says is very important for Tesla as a company and also Tesla's share price. So I was actually looking at Elon Musk's Twitter. But I don't I don't usually look at it, if I'm going to be honest with you guys, maybe like once a week, once every two weeks, I check it. And just recently I was looking at it. I noticed that Elon Musk was tweeting quite a bit about Tesla recently. So I want to just go over some of the things he's been talking about and talk about why this is very important for Tesla, because some of the things he said are very, very significant. So the first thing that Elon Musk has been talking about, he's responding to this very, very big news that has come out. It's basically about the Tesla recall news. And Musk is saying that the headlines are very misleading. This is very, very important because the headlines are saying that Tesla's recalling millions of vehicles over the latest safety flaw and this and that. Well, the truth is, this is not your conventional, typical recall. It has a very different connotation, right? That's the thing I've been talking about. Here's an example of another uh, headline that's been saying that nearly 2.2 million cars are recalled in the U.S. in a single month due to crash risks, including Tesla and many others. And they're basically talking about Tesla being a big part of that. So this is what's very interesting. The way that the media reports on Tesla software updates as world ending recalls is very, very telling. You could see Tesla to recall all of its U.S. vehicles. But then this is what Elon Musk said. Musk said this recall, quote unquote, recall literally just changes a few pixels on the screen with an over the air software update. It's once again very, very important. Uh, with that being said, iPhones are being recalled every few weeks if you want to go through that route, which I think is very, very funny. Uh, Musk has a good point about this. And this is what I'm trying to say. So in my video, I mentioned that Tesla had potential to bounce and pump very nicely with SPY, right? If you look at SPY, SPY was pumping very nicely on uh, on Friday, basically. This thing went from 488 all the way up to 496 in a single day. Crazy squeeze ended up happening. And Tesla, in my opinion, would have followed the trend. Tesla started off very weak before it started to follow the trend and push up. It actually closed just under uh, 188, not that bad. So not bad from Tesla. It tried to bounce with the market. But the reason why Tesla was relatively weak was because of all these misleading headlines. And Musk is saying the same thing about them, that these headlines, <laughs> excuse me, these headlines are just exaggerating. They're not telling the truth. They're twisting things, trying to get as many clicks as possible. And this recall they keep on screaming about is not your typical recall. It's completely different. So it's very important to note that. Also looking at Tesla, when you look at the way the share price was moving, this thing could have pumped a lot more if it wasn't for the negative headlines. This thing could have easily hit the 190s. So just wanted to call that out again. Musk is bringing up the same point that I've been bringing up about how these headlines are very misleading. On top of this, there were more things that Elon Musk has been saying. Basically, Musk reposted this on his Twitter. Basically, your Tesla tells you when and where to charge, even on the biggest road trip. And that's very important. This is from Tesla Australia and New Zealand. This person right here also has a map of the different charging stations right over here for Tesla, where the superchargers are basically located, which is very, very interesting. So in my opinion, I think that Tesla has a lot of potential for growth. And seeing this as the Teslas can tell you and plan out your trips for you, it's very, very useful, very, very cool. But I've heard a lot of people say negative things about taking a Tesla on a road trip, such as it could take a long time to basically charge your car. You have to like stop every so often and, you know, it takes a while. And I think that the charging times will improve as time goes on and also the ranges will improve. So you won't have to do it as much. I think that what could be very cool is going for like a day trip where you drive from not too far, like 300 miles in a single day or maybe a little less than that. Uh, you go one end um, of the trip, you just charge your Tesla overnight, drive to a few places and drive back. And you can still go on some very nice trips on a single charge on the Tesla or even like two charges. So 
you know, they could be very useful in that sense, but at the same time, it could be very tedious for very, very long road trips. So it is what it is. It depends on the users. It depends on their opinions and their preferences. But Musk did repost that. Musk also talked about this as a review of the new Model 3. This is very important. Uh, basically, there are a lot of people out there. This is just one example of the video of people are reviewing the new Tesla Model 3 refreshes after we got the new refinements, the new updates, which are much more efficient for the car. Even the headlights look very different. So very cool stuff. Very awesome for Tesla as they're trying to improve their products. And it's good that Elon Musk is giving you know different people shout outs. I just saw a lot of different videos about these. So it's very cool. If you guys want to check out the video, you can also check out the channel over here uh, on top of this. There are other things going on. Uh, this person known as Brian said that, and that you may not agree entirely with this point. This is very contentious, but I do believe a lot of the points uh, being made right here are very true. And I do agree with Musk on this. Uh, for the most part, this person said, I don't care what you think of Elon Musk or the CEO pay. Any shareholder I know would die to bring on a CEO with the stipulations that Musk got in 2018. If the company's value increases by 1900% in six years, Musk would get approximately 9% of the company as a bonus. Yes, those who invested $100,000 in Tesla six years ago would be worth $1.9 million today. But God forbid the CEO who risked it all would get a bunch of shares. So honestly, guys, you can have your own view about how much Musk should be paid, whether or not his compensation plan makes sense. That's your own opinion, and you're free to think whatever you want. I could even have a different opinion, but I just want to read this tweet in a very unbiased way because Elon Musk responded. He basically said that definitely buy the stock of any company where the CEO accepts the terms that I did. If you made that offer to any CEO in the top 500 companies, none would take it. So that's some very interesting stuff that Musk is saying. I think that the main takeaway from this is the fact that we have to still appreciate Elon Musk. I know that you may think what you want of him. You may not agree with his compensation plan. Do whatever you want. That's fine. But let's think about Elon Musk, the risk he took, the fact that he risked everything, the fact that he you know, took on, on so many hours of his life, took on so much stress to make Tesla what it is. I give credit to the entire Tesla team, the Tesla board and everyone, but also Elon Musk. Let's not forget about what he has done. Does he deserve this massive bonus? That's up to you to decide, guys. It's your own opinion. It doesn't really matter at this point. Uh, but I do believe Musk is deserving of a lot of the wealth that he has. And I hope that I just want the best for him and his family. That's all I just wanted to say. And I do want to just look at the good as well, not just the bad of Elon Musk. We could all have different opinions, politically speaking, but it is what it is. This tweet is also very important where they're saying, quote unquote, Tesla is responsible for two thirds of all personal and professional pain in my life combined, but it was worth it. And I think this is a tweet, uh, a quote from Elon Musk. Musk responded with a sigh. So the, the, the point in saying all of this is the fact that it was very stressful to get to where he is. It's very difficult. Running Tesla is not easy, and Tesla is basically, in my opinion, uh, it, it's positioned itself to plan out what it's going to do for the next 10 years. So in a way, the moves that Elon Musk has made are very efficient, very good, but at the same time, it was very difficult to get there, so you cannot forget about what it took. Last but not least, Elon Musk put this in his Twitter page. There's a very good thread over here. Musk mentioned that uh, change your state of incorporation out of Delaware before they lock the doors. They are currently blocking John Malone from changing incorporation from Delaware to Nevada. That's actually very important. This is as a result of what uh, some of the judges from Delaware have ruled against Elon Musk's compensation plan. Uh, someone asked Musk in response, Nevada or Texas, and Musk said for most companies, Nevada but Tesla is physically headquartered in Texas, so it makes more sense for them. So this is what Musk is basically saying is a different view of the Nevada Incorporation. Uh, it's his choice, Tesla's company. Uh, it has its own different views, its own advantages in doing so or not. So that's something that Musk is basically talking about amidst the big decision that was made about his compensation plan. So that being said, what does this all mean for Tesla? I would say one thing, and that is Musk has a proven record that he is able to do things that people are unable to believe. He's able to help lead a company alongside a great team, build a great team and work together to develop products that haven't been seen before, You know, innovate in ways that are incredible and continue to grow. Also, historically, as the tweets are reminding us of, in the last six years, in the last six years, excuse me, Tesla's had insane growth. If you look at the monthly charts, 
This thing is an absolute monster. Just go back a couple of years and look at how much this thing grew. This thing would be worth only 99 cents a share back in 2010. Back in 2018, Tesla would be worth about 10 or 11 dollars a share. This thing is still in the 187s. So there's immense growth in this. And Elon Musk is largely responsible. He's played a big role in helping a lot of people make a lot of wealth and also growing the company's share price, whereas improving their innovations. So I want to give credit to the entire Tesla team, of course, the board, everyone else that's out there, the engineers, the people working uh, on the production lines and et cetera. You're all appreciated. Great work, everyone. And we see so much growth to come. I also want to say that Elon Musk is not perfect. He's a human. He's made mistakes. I know that. But I still appreciate the work that he has done and his contributions to humanity. I want to make that as clear as possible. All right. So it was very entertaining to read some of his tweets. He has some very, very insightful views. And we'll see how Tesla moves going forward. But I'm just going to end the video from here, make it nice, short, sweet, and simple. Have a great day, guys. Enjoy the weekend. And I'll see you guys very soon on the next one. Thank you and peace out.